In this lesson, we will look at windows, multiple windows open, and tabs, and split panes. If you'll remember from a previous lesson, we saved a window group. Let's reopen that group. Take your pointer, go up towards the top of the window. If you're in full screen mode like me, eventually the menu bar will drop down. Choose the window menu and choose open window group. Now this may be a little jumbled at first. It opens up all the windows and then eventually if one of them was in full screen as this one, that may come to the forefront. To swap or switch between these different windows, you could use the window menu again. If you know which session you want to use, you can use command and that number to jump to that window. And if you don't, you can cycle through the windows, but this, the command and accent symbol shortcut, doesn't appear to work in some cases. For example, right now, as I'm recording the screen, it doesn't work for me. However, the command key and the square brackets work to cycle left or right through the windows. You may use those shortcuts, or you may find that the command and accent symbol shortcut does work for you. Let me show you what I mean. Command and the right square bracket goes through the sessions one at a time, and I'm just pushing it once every second or so. And then you can go backwards with the other bracket, the left bracket. And we can, of course, close sessions by just using Command W, as you would with any window. We can also merge these windows into tabbed sessions. So going back up to the window menu, we can choose to merge all the windows. And now we have a tabbed window because the window that was the frontmost one was not in full screen. This window is now a smaller floating window rather than a full screen window. So putting it back into full screen, how can I go from one tabbed window to another? Well, I could of course click across the top where the tabs are visible. I can also use the window menu to show previous tabs or the next tabs and notice what the shortcuts are. It's the command and the curly braces above the square brackets. So you have to hold down one extra key and that's the shift key. So shift command and a square bracket would be a curly brace and that will take us through the tabs one at a time, and the other one will go backwards. Now, notice the names are all bash. That's because we aren't really doing anything in any of these shells, so I will just use a command like top, which will continue running, and notice that the name changes, and if I switch to another one, I can use a different command, something like sleep, and we'll give it a good long time to sleep. And now the name changed on that one to sleep. So whatever is the active process, that's the one that will be listed at the top of the window. We can create new tabs, of course, by using the shell menu and choosing new tab. Simply using command T will create one with whatever the default settings are. In our case, it's the basic settings. Or we can choose one from our profiles list. When you have a session like this and you want to see something that was previously on the screen but has scrolled off, then you can use a feature that Apple has called a split pane. Now, there's not much yet in this particular session for us to see, so I need to generate some information that we might have to go back and look at. For that, I will use system underscore profiler. And if I just press return, that will start gathering information. While it's running, again, the title will change. And now there's a whole bunch of information scrolling by. We could go to the View menu and choose to split the pane. Now this is not like the screen command that many of the expert Unix command line gurus will be familiar with. Instead, this is just showing us some history. So the top section, we can't really type in it, but we can scroll to find particular information that we're looking for. And down below, the command is still running, showing us other information. And we can scroll independently there. 
to see information as well. Let's let it run. And when we're done, we can put the screen back together. Again, go to the View menu and choose to close the split pane. Splitting the pane, the shortcut is Command-D. Closing it is Shift-Command-D. And there's no limit. You can split the pane again and again if you have multiple locations that you would like to display from your terminal session. Again, to close all the windows, we can simply go to the Shell menu, and we can choose to close Window or Close Tab. Notice that the Shift is necessary now because we will be closing multiple tabs to close the window. It does ask us before closing the window because there are some running processes. In this case, it's the top command. Next up, we will change our default shell and look at just a few more advanced settings in the preferences of our terminal app.